already tell. I am making my one dad and my mom today. I almost went backwards. <laughs> Basically, thank you for the parents. Or as dad likes to call it, <laughs> family baking hour. Family baking hour! <laughs> Best yeah. part is eating. <laughs> yep, yep. <clears throat> So today we're making bread, because everybody else is well in lockdown, so we might as well do the same. All right, cut the close cam. So we're making two hour buns, and you will need three cups of warm water, half a cup of sugar, six tablespoons of oil, one teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons yeast, two eggs, which will be beaten, and 10 to 12 cups of flour. All righty, let's get to this. All right, what are we doing first? We're going into the hole with the water. We're going to wander around in the sleep. warm water. And, and then, then add your beaten eggs. <laughs> One eternity later. Here you go. Well beaten eggs. There. Ooh, that's satisfying. Ooh. <laughs> okay, what's and next? Then add. You can add the nuts tray. <laughs> you can add the nuts tray since you're wandering around in the Can I? Oh, groovy. <laughs> groovy? Yeah. Sugar. Sorry, so dad adds it. I'm gonna add the sugar, that's tubular. I'll add that. There we go. And what's that? Your oil. And, and salt. And your yeast. Let it sit. For how long? Until it rises. Okay, so until it rises, we'll see you, whatever yeah. that is, <laughs> in a few minutes. Yep. The yeast is in, what is it in? The oil? Everything. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, All the thing, previous ingredients. It's a famous song that I sang to get the yeast to produce quickly. So it's called Go Yeast Go. Start fizzing, go yeast, go, start fizzing. And that's a famous song of mine about yeast, the yeast song. Go start yeast, fizzing go, for start I. fizzing for us. Don't go yeast, go, start fizzing for us. <laughs> it's starting. Once it looks like this, you yeah. can start adding I your flour one cup at a time. Here we go. Okay, well then add like five cups. <laughs> yeah. This is so exciting. I really enjoyed this part of the job. <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> so basically you add a whole bunch of flour and as you go, as long as it's, if it's still sticky, you keep adding more. That's why it's 10 to 12 cups. 2,000 years later. We be back. And now it is out of the bowl. Once it is no longer sticky, you take it on and put it on the mat and eat it there. But you can barely see because. I'm going to break this table. <laughs> Smash it into a pot. We've got the Incredible Hulk here. So it's an important thing to fold it into a ball, to fold it into itself, actually, as you're kneading it. Yeah. Skip. There we go. 
Yeah, we put a little right. bit of oil on the top. Oh, Add some okay. oil. Oh. Not so much. <laughs> Just enough to cover that. And then we'll get Am I done? this way. You never can see a, a baking show too quite like this one. <laughs> and put it in a warm place for 15 minutes. So it has to be a heat vent or an oven? In this case, we're using the oven because it's a little bit warmer. If you want your oven warm, just put put the lights on and it will keep it warm. All right. Hola, I'm back on camera. <laughs> I decided to need the bread this time. After 15 minutes. Yeah, after 15 minutes, after letting it rise for 15 minutes, you take it and eat it up. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And it goes back to the oven. Oven. Warm oven. It's not hot oven. Warm. Just warm. It's not on. Well, while you are waiting, you can put it Grease your pans. Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alrighty. Yeah. So we're done. We're done with the um, third rising. So this is the fourth one. But we don't need to need it. We are going to form it in two buns and put it on the prepared greased pan. Yep. All you have to do is get a, a handful of it. Depends on how big you want it to be. And then sorry for your <laughs> how big you want it. No, well, they rise quite a bit, so mm -hmm. just like that. Yeah. And if you want to see it, so they're like that. Usually, a nine by thirteen pan can only um, fit twelve pieces or so one dozen. A close up. How to make one? And it's best to oil your hand so it forms nicely and smoothly on the surface. There we go. Is there done rising? Yep. And now, I guess you're going to want to preheat the oven after you let them risen. I will. Two. Two fifty. Three fifty degrees. So, this is completely optional, but we made double bats, and if you do that, you can make cinnamon buns with some of your bats, which are delicioso. And what we need... Come on, camera. What we need with it softened butter softened butter and um, a cup or a cup or more whatever you want if you want it gooey the more the better the brown sugar and and cinnamon together there will be a recipe in the description don't worry if you're having a hard time following our craziness forgot to mention after you form your buns you need to let them rise one more time for 15 minutes yeah, for 15 more minutes. And you can put them in the oven. I'll preheat your oven to 350. 350. Yeah. Yeah, do some spots. 
All righty, we be back. Here we go. We are. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Make it into a rectangle. We want it to be flattened into a rectangle form. Once your dough looks like that, you can start spreading everything on. Yeah. First. So let mom do this part. The butter. Since And then your brown sugar and cinnamon mints. It needs a thick covering. <laughs> well, it doesn't need it. If you want it really juicy. Gooey. Gooey, not juicy. Gooey and sweet. You need to make it have a thick covering. And now, and now you roll it. There we go. That it's rolled. Okay. <laughs> We're back. The buns are done. 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 <laughs> I know how to speak English again. It let them cook for 15 to almost 30 minutes. Well, it depends. Um, 15 to 20. If it needs a little bit more, do a little bit more. And then after they're done, they smell delicious. Put butter on the top and then let them cool down a little. There we go. And then now you wait for your cinnamon buns to finish. We be back. And we're trying them. Mm. The best part. The best part. Okay, Mmm. Perfect. Nothing I quite like the smell and taste of freshly baked buns. Yep. You're probably you jealous go. out there if you don't have any in front of you. They look delicious. Mm. Very good. Oh, nice and warm. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry to do this to you. Mm. <laughs> and this is Dad's favorite part. <laughs> And here are the cinnamon buns. Mm -hmm. Let's try this. Mm. <laughs> Let's go center. So I can then end it. End this. This is a great angle. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're ending the video now. So that has been family baking hours. It's like four hours. Four hours. <laughs> it was worth it all. Yep. Mm. It's really good. Cinnamon. Look at oh, that. I say so. Oh, man, that's it. <laughs> then I'm going to put a... Sorry for making you hungry. <laughs> Apologize for that. But not really. Not. But you can do it yourself, too, right? Follow along. Nice and moist. Mm -hmm. Really good. Yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Yum, yum. Jesus. Alrighty. Blessings. Yeah. That's the end of the video. If you enjoy, leave a like, subscribe, yes. comment, the next episode. and see you all on every day. <laughs> Bye.